M1 of T and M2 of T both band limited to 5000 are to be transmitted simultaneously over a channel by the multiplex shown in figure 4.2. The signal at point B is the multiplex channel, which now modulates a carrier of frequency 20,000 hertz. The modulated signal at point C is transmitted over the channel. So here the diagram provided, and the first part is the sketch signal spectra at point A, B, and C, and B parts as what must be the bandwidth of the distortionless channel, and the C parts as design or receiver to recover signal M1 of from the modulated signal at point C. Okay, now let's see how to do this. So let's look at what is happening at point A. So at point A, you see M1 of T passing through this. That is this signal provided right here, and M2 is two is M2 T is passing through this. That is this signal provided right here. Until this summation is reached, only this M2 of T is changed. You see M1 of T nothing happened right here. So first we have to just look at what's happening to the M2 of T. And uh, if we look at that at point A. signal M2 of T of T is passing through this so it's going to be multiplied so M2 of T two was by and ten thousand is splitting this 20,000, I think that is 2 phi FT, 2 phi T, and F is 10,000. Okay, 10,000. And then here we write this one in terms of frequency domain. This is going to be M minus MK. M plus N. Okay, so this is what happening to the first one. Basically, shifting 10k to the right and left after going through this. Then the next one is we have these two. Both of them are entering. So this one is like now uh, switch like this. It shifted 10k to the right and left, but for this one, no shift happened. So it's just coming directly and adding with this. One. For the new one is going to be addition of this one and this one that is at point B the signal is M1 of T added with whatever we derive here that is M2 of times 2 cos 2 phi 10,000 10, Okay, so this is what we have at point B. Now uh, let's look at the diagram for point A and point B. So at A, at A, what happened is this one just shifted 10k. It's going to be doubled right now. So uh, this pattern is going to be at at the at the center of negative 10k and positive 10k. So we're gonna have exact same diagram now it's gonna be just at negative 10k and you can see this is 5k range each of them so this is gonna be negative 15 k this one is negative 5k and in the other side also same thing this one is at 10k and uh, this is going to be at 5 going to be at 50 
A right here. And uh, that is at A. Now at B, see this one, this is the signal going through. Like at B, this one is added with this one. So now add uh, this one up to this point, it's going to look like this. Then this one going through this, it doesn't have any change happen. It's going to be exactly like this. And it's going through this. So I mean, it's going to be like uh, exactly like this after it passing through that transistor. So when we add them together, B, they're going to have a graph. So here, what's gonna happen is we are gonna have this one exactly like this. That is gonna be at centered at negative ten k. So negative k right here, negative five k right here, and uh, here also same thing. Ten k, five k. And this one also 5k range, so it's gonna is that the origin? So it's gonna be exactly like this. It because ending at 5 negative 5k, and this one is beginning at 5K, so it's just it is zero, and uh, we are gonna end up a diagram like this at B. Okay, now this is what happened at. Uh, this is what happened at B. Now we are passing again to a filter like this. So after it passes through that, then again we are going to have a situation like this. It's going to split up twice. This one is going to be split up twice, and based on whatever the frequency we are going to have here, that is going to be the center. Let's see what we derive. So I go to any. A. So that is at point B. Just click. Okay. the validity what? Fifty times that it took us forty thousand five took us forty thousand five but uh, if we write in term in terms of two five f so we take two five common then what is left that is the frequency so forty thousand mean if we take two five that's twenty thousand we're going to get thousand Okay, so based on this, right away we can see that it's going to be centered at twenty thousand. But if you do the Fourier transform, it's going to look like f, f minus twenty k plus f plus k. So we have a twenty k left shift and twenty k right. Shift. So we are going to have a end up with a diagram. That is going to look exact like this. Okay, exactly. Like but the thing is, this is going to be centered at 20k and negative 20k. So I can just copy paste this picture and change the value. So we are going to have something like this right here and it should be starting at five now okay. think about this so if i shift this graph from here to 20k now let's see what's the maximum maximum range we have right here so this is at the middle zero to five five to ten so currently it's reaching 15k but if i 
put 25k but then it's gonna be 5k still remaining here because 5k plus 15k should be making 20k so we're gonna have 20k shifted 20k okay because this part is gonna be 20k right now and then this one shifted the middle should be 20k okay so i had to relabel everything Twenty K. This one is negative twenty. And if it's negative twenty K, then my uh negative this is should, this one should be negative fifteen K, and then this one should be negative five K. And no, negative ten K. This one should be negative five K. And this one should be negative 25k. Each of them 5k distance. Negative okay. 25k. This one is negative 30k. This one is negative 35k. And uh, here also same thing. We just have to copy the same value, but it's, this one be positive. here what you want this is 5k this one is and the middle one is 20 then then see so you see here the middle one is 5k this one is 10k this k and then one is 25k this is going to be 30 this is 35k okay what we are gonna have this is at c what is on this Okay, so this is what we derive and let's look at the B part, this is A part. This part is specific like that point A B and this is what it is. And B what is the bandwidth of the distortion loss? So here you see from negative 5k to 35k negative 35k we need 30,000 positive 5k to 30 35k 5 to 35k totally 30,000 hertz bandwidth so we need 30,000 hertz bandwidth so let's explore. from the spectrum Clear that the channel bandwidth must get thirty percent from. Five K hertz thirty five. Okay, that's part uh, and in the part C 
design a receiver to recover the M1 of M2 of T from the modulator signal at points. So this is the like we modulated a signal. Now what they ask is if we want to reverse the process and get this one back, what should we do? We just have to flip it and add filters. Yeah, we have, we had to add a low pass filter after everything. So the diagram is exactly like same. Like we're gonna have this one flip, but uh, there's a low pop low pass filter is gonna have. We're gonna have a low pass filter, and uh, this uh, we don't need a summation. Okay, that's the only difference. So if you do that, let's see how is the diagram. The risk. to recover one of them from the Uh, received a modulator we just have a diagram that is different yes no yes. so if you flip this diagram See this uh, gas two cost forty thousand, but uh, when we flip it and if you want to reverse, we remove this two. Okay, so now what you're going to do is we're going to send the C through this one, but now just cost forty thousand. And then then this now on a split and one is gonna go through the low pass filter directly and that's gonna be the M1 of yeah we derive the M1 of T for the other one had to send this one through this signal here here we have two cost twenty thousand five but we remove the two so that's going to cost twenty thousand five two after on through this and we add a low pass filter here that's gonna derive the m2 of okay the reason we are adding two points so that's what happened that's gone through twice m1 of t just through one that's why for m1 of t this one is for M2. You have to go to twice to get it to get it back. That is the diagram. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you guys on my next video.